Have you observed how movies, series, books, podcasts, and more importantly, the news try to portray the rich people to be extremely negative in general? Of course, there are going to be exceptional characters who are probably going to be drug dealers or psychotic murderers who may or may not be rich. But in general, the perception of the rich created in the media for you, the audience, is generally that the rich people are bad, they are negative, they are evil. Why is it that the media is trying to make you think about the rich in the negative light? And more importantly, what is the long term impact on your relationship with money if and when you start perceiving the rich to be negative people at large? By the end of this episode, you're going to understand why you should stop detaching the whole concept of evil and rich in the same light and why you need to change your perception about the rich and change your relationship with money. Hello and welcome to episode 3 of the Paycheck to Profit podcast. Paycheck to Profit is a community built for millennials and Gen Zs who are trying to build a better relationship with their money, learn financial literacy, learn about the law of attraction so that they can manifest more wealth into their life and most importantly, unlock the abundance in their life. Hi, I'm Manish Avja, your host, your financial abundance coach and the founder of Paycheck to Profit. In today's episode, When you hear this episode till the end, I'm going to give you access to a very simple tool which is going to help you change your perception about the rich if you're looking at the rich to be predominantly negative and how this one tool is going to have a lifelong impact and it's very, very easy to use. A quick reminder, this podcast episode is available both in the video and the audio format. So if you're watching us on YouTube, do not forget to subscribe to the Paycheck to Profit podcast on the favorite podcast application of your choice. And if you're listening to us on the favorite podcast application of your choice, do not forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel of Paycheck to Profit where you will get access to a lot more videos. All the videos of this podcast, the second podcast of Paycheck to Profit, which is called Unlock the Abundance and exclusive videos which we create only for our YouTube community. The first perception that the media is trying to create in your mind about the rich people is that the rich are extremely greedy and they don't want others to get rich. Now, this may probably have been true in the 1950s, 60s, 70s, but the way globalization has now become more commonplace, it is impossible for people to get richer without enabling multiple people to get rich along with them. Today, the rich are not trying to get richer by amassing a lot of wealth and keeping it in their bank account. Today, if you want to get rich, you have to create an ecosystem. You have to ensure that you build large teams, solve big problems for a very large market. And while you're growing this team, you have to ensure that everybody in your team is progressing at a pro rata basis. Look at this from a very simple perspective. Today, most big companies, most reputed companies have a proper ESOP pool. Employee stock options allow everybody in the team to progress in a pro rata basis as and when the company progresses. So how is it that the rich people are greedy and they don't want others to get rich? As I said, this is probably a mindset which is easily about half a century old. So it's high time that you start thinking about this from the right perspective. The second way the media tries to portray rich people negatively is by showcasing on the hedonistic lifestyle of the rich. Now tell me something. Is it bad to spend your own money if the rich are amassing a lot of wealth and if they end up spending a small, a very small portion of that wealth in their lifestyle by taking lavish vacations, by buying luxury cars, by hosting grand weddings? What is wrong with it? I come from India and recently a big fat Indian wedding was portrayed all across the media where people were trying to create all sorts of comments, positive and predominantly negative about this family, the hedonistic lifestyle of the rich and how much money was spent in this one wedding. You're open to your own opinion, but look at it. That particular family spent a very, very, very small portion of their overall wealth and yet they hosted one of the biggest weddings in the world versus there are people today who end up taking loans to buy a phone, a laptop, shoes, vacations. All of these are depreciating assets. All of these are lifestyle choices which can easily be avoided. If 
people are getting influenced by the rich isn't it predominantly the mistake of the people by whom are they getting influenced rather than the rich who are actually living their life which they can afford and yet they are being pointed fingers at the hedonistic lifestyle the way you spend your money the options where you spend your money is all a personal choice are all rich people living a hedonistic lifestyle think about it if you don't understand this concept look at the concept of quiet luxury and you'll realize that so many rich people spend very little money on buying brands and spending on luxury for that matter of fact the biggest market of the luxury brands you would be surprised to know is middle class people or the new rich so think about this you need to consume better content you need to consume better areas of uh, media where you are getting more positive content and one of the positive pieces of content that i can recommend to you is for you to become a part of the profit clan profit clan is an email community of paycheck to profit where you'll get email updates of the new podcast episodes that get released you will also get new exclusive newsletters you'll get access to freebies you'll also get access to the profit masterclass which is which happens once every week where you can learn how to change your relationship with money understand concept like money blocks how can you use law of attraction in a very logical manner and so much more you'll find the link to join the profit clan in the show notes and i would really want you to become a part of the profit clan because the clan feels absolutely incomplete without you the third way that the media is trying to influence you and make you look at the rich negatively is by telling you that the rich are absolutely rude and arrogant people at large over here i have a few things to share with you when you look at the right quality of the rich people you will realize that a, a lot if not most rich people are absolutely humble because in today's times it's very difficult for you to get rich without adding a lot of value to a very specific market and everybody who's gotten rich with the right perspective with the right attitude they understand how difficult it is to earn that money so they have a lot of respect for people at large now we also don't understand the lifestyle of the rich the life of the rich when we don't live our life in those shoes so there are so many times when the rich can also have a bad day and just because one rich person has a bad day and it gets recorded by the media one bad day is not a reflection of the true character of the rich i'm not saying all rich people are humble but i am saying not all rich people are also extremely arrogant or rude you need to create a very strong line of demarcation and a very strong line of how you are perceiving the rich and if your perception about the rich is that most or all rich people are rude what you are telling your subconscious mind is that i don't want to be rude and i don't want to be like the rich people so now this is a very subconscious way of working your mind will start creating a very strong gap between you and the rich because your mind will say when this person becomes rich this person will also become rude because rich people are rude and arrogant and you don't want to become a rude and arrogant person and hence your mind will play games with you your mind will create situations where you will you will stop accepting opportunities that can bring more wealth into your life because more wealth is equals to more arrogance this is how the long term impact of getting influenced by media is extremely wrong for your relationship with money so think about this now one more point that gets spoken about the fourth point about the rich is that the rich are extremely self centered again this is such an unfair and a biased point because you cannot have a blanket statement for all rich people at large and say that all rich people are self centered there are so many rich people who believe in philanthropy you have to go deep and understand that there are so many organizations ngos csr csr organizations where these rich people are donating millions and billions worth of dollars contributing a very big part of their income and they'll never talk about it because these are the rich people who are doing good for the society good for the ecosystem without trying to create a very big pr engine for themselves but this contribution of the rich gets sidelined because it's much easier to talk about how rich are extremely self centered the media creates stories which get them the eyeballs because those eyeball 
ट्रांसलेट इन टू योर अटेंशन एंड योर अटेंशन टर्न इन टू एड्स एंड प्रॉफिट फॉर देम प्लीज डो नॉट एक्सेप्ट इंफॉर्मेशन दैट यू सी ऑन इन द मीडिया ऑन फेस वैल्यू इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ द लॉन्ग टर्म इम्पैक्ट ऑफ कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इन द लाइफ ऑफ द रिच इज ओनली मेकिंग दैम रिचर इफ यू वुड लाइक टू अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन बिकॉज इट्स वेरी रेयरली स्पोकन ऑन सोशल मीडिया आई वुड वॉन्ट यू टू कमेंट द वर्ड कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इन द यूट्यूब वीडियो ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर एपिसोड इफ यू आर लिस्निंग टू दिस एपिसोड ऑन सम सोशल ऑन सम पॉडकास्ट ऐप यू विल फाइंड द यूट्यूब लिंक इन द शो नोट गो टू दैट लिंक एंड जस्ट कमेंट द वर्ड कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन सो दैट आई कैन क्रिएट मोर videos create more episodes on the concept of contribution and help you understand how contribution can help you change your relationship with money and bring more wealth into your life it's a very contradictory sort of a thought process which many people won't understand so your comment will help me understand whether there is a need for this content or not also while you're going to the comment section you might as well ask me your questions about money mindset law of attraction how do you build a better relationship with money so on and so forth i'll be more than happy to answer all your questions have an interaction with you in the comments and also give you more ideas or cre- get more ideas on what kind of episode should i create in the future the last and the most important point that the media is trying to show you which again is absolutely colored is that the rich have really dysfunctional relationships or dysfunctional families such a biased perspective like always there's something called as a negative bias which you need to study more about but let me tell you how does the negative bias work with regards to broken relationships or dysfunctional families with the rich i'll ask you a simple question do all rich people have dysfunctional families or rather look at it from this perspective are all dysfunctional families of the rich or look at it from one more perspective are all families which are not rich absolutely smooth or do you also know of dysfunctional families where people are fighting with each other over money about relationships and they don't necessarily belong to the category of being rich in any way dysfunctional families and being rich are two mutually exclusive points whenever they merge together that does not make it a rule it just makes it one more case study so do not look at rich to have dysfunctional families because that's not a function of being rich dysfunctional families and rich just happen to people whose relationships are not working in the right manner these are the five points which i would like to summarize for you very quickly the media tries to bring about these five perceptions in your mind which i would want you to stay completely away from the media tries to tell you that the rich are greedy the rich have a super hedonistic lifestyle which is extremely bad the rich are rude and arrogant the rich are extremely self centered and they do not want the people or the community or the ecosystem to improve and fifth that the rich are living a very dysfunctional relationship life if you've been with us until this point i would want you to follow page to profit across social media instagram is one particular place which i would definitely want you to follow us on because this particular episode idea was reflected or was chosen in a poll by the followers of page to profit on instagram so if you would want to contribute more i would want you to definitely follow page to profit on social media as i had promised to you i'm going to give you access to a simple tool i would want you to focus on the six statements six affirmations six belief system that i would want you to change with regards to the rich which is going to help you change your relationship with money and more importantly how do you perceive money and rich and a positive mind frame the six affirmations are my financial situation is improving daily second i am letting go of all comparisons and competition third i am releasing all fear and anxiety about money fourth i'm grateful for the lessons that i have learned about money fifth i'm attracting positive financial energy and sixth i'm living a life of abundance and gratitude when you actually start practicing these six affirmations when you actually start living these six affirmations and these six affirmations or statements become your second way of thinking what will happen is you'll change your change the way you look at money you'll change the way you perceive the rich and that is the main purpose of this episode to help you look at the rich in the right light if you've enjoyed this episode i would definitely recommend you to watch the second episode in the series which was called five easy ways to avoid getting scammed with money 
it's a episode which is getting a lot of appreciation from the viewers so i would definitely recommend you to watch that episode you'll find the link to that episode in the show notes and thank you so much for listening to this episode till the end i really appreciate your commitment to your learning and your personal growth do support this podcast by liking this episode so that more and more people can get introduced to the paycheck to profit podcast and this video if you're listening to us on a podcast application please do not forget to give us a five star five mics five hearts the rating that your platform uh, chooses to promote the video or the podcast episodes please take 10 seconds and help us by giving us a good rating and like this video on youtube make sure that you subscribe to the paycheck to profit youtube channel or also sub- uh, subscribe to the paycheck to profit podcast on the application which where you are listening to this episode do not forget to join the profit clan the plan the clan is absolutely incomplete without you you'll find the link to join the profit clan in the show notes and if you didn't make any notes or bookmark this episode i would really want you to listen to this episode once again so that you can make further connection to all the points that i've shared with you in this episode and it's easier to dig deeper when you already know what to expect and i really appreciate your company and can't wait to connect with you all over again please take good care of yourselves keep smiling keep going keep growing